When caring for a patient with a trach tube, the caregiver must always have emergency supplies at hand. These are a resuscitation bag and mask, an oxygen tank, an extra trach tube and downsized trach tube, a suction machine and suction catheters, trach change supplies such as gloves, lubricating jelly, syringe, trach ties, saline tubes, scissors, Kelly clamp, a wire cutter if needed, sterile water, and a stethoscope. If the patient has difficulty breathing, the most common cause is the trach tube came out or it is blocked. First, always check that the trach tube is in the trach stoma. If the trach tube has come out, get a trach tube in as quickly as possible. We will demonstrate how to place a trach tube later in this video. If the trach tube is in place, it may be blocked. Suction the trach tube to the identified safe suction depth. After suctioning, assess the patient. Does the chest rise and fall with each breath? Is the patient's skin its normal color? Are oxygen saturation values normal? Do you see other symptoms of distress? If suctioning did not improve the patient's breathing, then perform bibs. B is for bag, which means use the resuscitation bag. Attach the resuscitation bag tubing to an oxygen tank and turn the oxygen onto the highest flow setting. Listen for oxygen flow or check the bag reservoir to make sure it's filling with oxygen. Attach the resuscitation bag to the trach tube and squeeze the bag firmly about three to four times to give breaths. Look at the patient's chest to see if it rises each time you squeeze the bag. I is for irrigate, which means putting saline into the trach tube. Remove the resuscitation bag from the trach tube. Take a saline tube and squeeze up to two milliliters into the trach tube. Follow instructions from your child's healthcare provider on how much saline to use. B is for bag, which means use the resuscitation bag again. Squeeze the bag about three to four times to give breaths. Watch for chest rise each time you squeeze the bag. S is for suction, which means suction the trach tube. Suction to the predetermined safe suction depth. After suctioning, connect the resuscitation bag to the trach tube again. Squeeze the bag firmly and repeatedly. Look at the patient's chest to see if it rises each time you squeeze the bag. If you do not see the chest rise when you squeeze the bag, perform an emergency trach tube change. Start by quickly opening the bag that contains the emergency trach tubes and supplies and remove patient's primary trach tube. Lubricate if necessary and if time allows. Deflate the cuff if the patient has a cuffed trach tube. Remove the trach ties from the trach tube. Remove the existing trach tube by pulling it out with a motion that follows the curve of the tube. Pick up the prepared trach tube by the obturator and hub. Insert the new trach tube into the trach stoma with a motion that follows the curve of the tube. If you are unable to insert the new trach tube, Quickly open the size smaller trach tube. Lubricate if necessary and if time allows. Insert into the patient's trach stoma. After inserting the new trach tube, hold the flange with one hand. Immediately remove the obturator with a motion that follows the curve of the tube. Set the obturator off to the side. While holding the new trach tube in place, inflate the cuff to the ordered amount if the patient has a cuffed trach. Then attach the resuscitation bag to the trach tube and squeeze the bag firmly and repeatedly. Look at the patient's chest to see if it rises each time you squeeze the bag. If the chest does not rise, call 911 using speakerphone and then repeat the bib steps with the following change. 
Secure the trach tube before suctioning. Then push the catheter in, past the safe suction depth, until you meet resistance or the blockage is cleared. Attach the resuscitation bag and give the patient a few breaths. If the chest rises, remove the resuscitation bag from the trach tube. Assess the patient again. Does the chest rise and fall with each breath? Is the patient's skin its normal color? Are oxygen saturation values normal? Do you see other symptoms of distress? Contact the healthcare provider or call 911 if the patient's breathing is not normal. Here is an example of a trach tube emergency in real time. Oh no, I pulled this trach tube out. Now we're right here with you, okay? We're gonna help you. Mom, could you undo his trach ties? I'm just gonna get his cuff deflated. And get the obturator. Thank you. Now we're gonna put your trach back in, okay? Here we go. All right, mom, if you could hold that for me. I'm gonna reinflate his cuff. And I'm gonna get him some oxygen. Give you a few breaths. All right, now we're gonna try to put this trach back in. Mom, it looks like this trach isn't going in. I'm gonna have to get the downsize. Okay. It's okay, Hal. Hal, you're doing great. And you downsized. Here's your new tray, Cal. There we go. Mom, could you hold that for me? The downsize isn't going in either. Mom, I'm gonna have you call 911. Okay. And I'm gonna put this gauze, tape this gauze over his stoma. All right, pal, I'm gonna get some oxygen going for you with the ammo bag. We are getting good chest rise. Yes, I need an ambulance to 2800 Cleveland Avenue North, Roseville, Minnesota. My phone number is 651.